Hi, I'm gonna need to take you to a very special point in your life. We're gonna have to make a decision about where Football Manager is going to go. You ready? <sighs> Look at me! Focus! You have to take one of these pills. You can either have the football manager you've always had without analytics, stay with the old ways, or you can have this pill. This pill is analytics and football manager for realsies this time. Uh, 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 analytics? That's what the cool people on Twitter are talking about. Good choice. Now move quickly. Joke's on you. You don't have any choice because analytics are here in Football Manager 22. Let's look at them. Football Manager released its first of what is going to be apparently a two-part series of like headline features in the new game. Don't know what the other one's going to be, but we do know that the Data Hub exists. We covered that in our last video, but what we haven't covered is what it actually is or, or how any of this works. Well, that's where my good friend James Alcott comes in. He has been recruited by Sports Interactive to be their like interviewer person. And this is a whole level of introducing features of the game that I've not seen from Football Manager before. So this is very cool because what we have here is a teaser video, an intro where James Lawrence Alcott in his amazing skin sit here and tell us that all the things I just told you. And then if you click the link, instead of it just being that one minute video where they go, look at the data hub, isn't that so cool? They actually, it's an 18 minute video. So what I'm gonna do is put on these fancy over ear headphones and watch this video uh, sans the intro because who wants to waste time uh, and react, right? Uh, well, but this isn't a react video. We're not gonna actually sit here and watch the whole video. I'm gonna film myself watching the video and then Reese is gonna cut out the best part. Right, Reese? If you wanna hear Reese and I talk to each other, the Zealand podcast is your bet down in the description, but that's not why we're here. We're here to look at the data hub. So what do they have for us? First, they're interviewing uh, Miles. <sighs> My spirit animal, Miles Jacobson. <laughs> Okay, so very quickly, I'm realizing that this video, having not watched it before, is actually a compilation of different things. Wow, SI's doing the vision for FM22 and a couple of different features. I'm seeing that as I scroll along the bottom. So what we're gonna do today is watch the data hub portion. We'll make videos to talk about the other things that, that, are, that are along this bottom, what they mean for Football Manager, uh, this bottom. Hey. It's time to talk about one of the headline features in FM22, the data hub. Sounds serious. Yeah. It kind of is. Elliot, the junior software engineer, joins me right now. At <laughs> I got the, the junior software engineer. Brutal, brutal. Played a huge part in the, the sort of the next stage of bringing in analytics um, to the next level that happened in FM21 with, with XG. How does it go beyond that this year with the Data Hub? So the introduction of XG and the analytics stuff we did last year was pretty big for us. We uh, we think that kind of football manager is quite important for how people in like the community in general view sports and like statistics. And we saw a big uptake. We saw a lot of people really liking what we did with XG. Um, and we wanted to really push on this because we think it's we think it's important not just for the fans and not just I don't know for representing reality, mm. but because of our aim to kind of make football manager accurate representation of what being a, a manager at a football club is like. We know from conversations with football clubs, we know from kind of the perception of what football clubs are now, that these data teams and the analytics in general are very, very important for the function of modern football clubs, like people credit analysts in interviews, people talk about the fact that they're making these marginal gains. This is a very key point because there will be some people like, why are you adding all this nonsense to the game, all right? I just want to manage PSG and play a 4-2-3-1 gig and press with better graphics. Leave me alone. Look, Football Manager is very clear stated interest that dictates everything they do. They are trying to create a very accurate representation of what it's actually like to be a real football manager that you can participate in without actually being a qualified coach. In order to do this, they have to continue to pursue analytics because so is the rest of the world. The world that they live in and the people they talk to to make this game are all doing this analytical stuff, probably to a greater extent and to a more annoying extent than you're actually gonna have to in Football Manager. But it is cool and helps bring the game to life in a new way, at least for nerds like me. So what I loved when I was looking at the data hub was 
like you say, that, that sort of painting of pictures that can allow you to sort of take in things quickly. So if we go on to the data hub, what pictures are we gonna see uh, during the game and, and how can they help us? Which new elements will we see in FM22 in the data hub? So we've introduced momentum. Great question, James. So there's the momentum, which we've already, we saw, we talked about in the last video because we saw it in the teaser. Which right. gives you a kind of perception of okay. the flow of a match. It might give you information about this team has been performing particularly well in these time periods. You've had a load of shots, you've had a load of touches in the final third, this sort of stuff. This gives you a way of diagnosing like match performance that's agnostic from result. Oh, I love the way you worded that so much. Oh, Elliot Stapley. I stand. The use of the word agnostic was pretty wild. I didn't know it could be used that way, but football manager in general going, we need to provide you more things than just XG to let you know how the flow of the game has gone because very few sane human beings actually watch the full match. And so the purpose this can also serve is informing you how those portions of the match that have gone were going when you weren't actually playing on full match. If you are, seek help immediately. As I, instead of just looking at the goals and the XG, which is the thing that's leading to the goals, this momentum is going to allow you to see who is threatening and when. You can also track trends like, shoot, my team is tired. Late in the game, we started to suck. And I really like this one, by the way, yeah. because I, I, I did, people who know uh, who've ever seen me play FM, I can tinker on occasion. And so the momentum map was fantastic because I kind of made a couple of changes when I played the game and it started to go awry. And I was like, oh, okay. You can kind of learn as a, as a player within the game. Oh. Don't do that. Don't yeah. don't make those changes. That's fascinating. So you make, you can see the momentum in real time. So when you make the changes and you're like, oh no, oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> You see, you see the bars going down. You're like, hey, uh, boss, uh, bring it back up. Okay, that is, that's interesting. Also, not fair. He got to play the game already. God. Mm. What other things will we see? There's another thing we've, obviously they've always been in the game, but we've made some improvements to pass maps. So as you talk about systems. That's always the most football manager thing of all time. Well, it was already in the game, you idiot. You should have already found it. Well, yeah, but it was a spaghetti map of nothing. The pass map improvement, huge. Little sad though, so far we haven't hit on anything that I wasn't able to pick up and talk about. Obviously not to this extent, but at least notice in the last video and be like, huh, that was there. Uh, let's see what you can click around with in here. Didn't you talk about tweaks? you'll be able to see in much more detail and much more intuitively. It looks like there you can click off of certain players, right? Like you should be able to uh, deactivate certain, like I just wanna see how my strikers are playing. I just wanna see the passes they're making. And that option should be over on the right, which is really nice. Uh, obviously looking over on the left side of this work in progress, this is the only new part on the left side that is there. Uh, they've they've redone their artwork and kind of really taken the edges off of the squares in the top right corner. That's pretty sexy. As you talk about systems, you talk about tweaks, you'll be able to see in much more detail, and much more intuitively. You also get this little note from your ana your analyst. What was I gonna say? Your analyst. You get you get notes from your analyst in the top left corner there with a total of 468 pass combinations that are like kind of letting you know what you're seeing. Oh, well, this was pretty good. What I'm interested in is in the bottom left, is that some sort of circle that is determining how good your analyst is or how complete the analysis is this is like basic analysis what is there a deeper level to this that we don't get i would i i would sell my firstborn save to be able to hover over that eye in the bottom left corner right now you'll be able to see in much more detail and much more intuitively the way that games played out between your players you might see okay my center backs have been circulating the ball between each other really well but they're not getting the ball at the pitch now because there's a strong line between them um and it's just giving, giving users more ways of diagnosing what's going wrong with the team or going really well without having to dig into like huge, huge repositories of information they might not know about. So basically, the data before you try and assassinate it is trying to make your life better. That's what we've gotten from these first two things is you don't have to get into the filth as much as you did in past FMs, like this last FM, if you wanted to go look for data analysis, you had to really go and fight for it yourself. Now you're getting handled more bite-sized information presentation. It's good. With so much data in the data hub, some people will want to kind of look at it on face value. Some people want even more. Is that an element that you've kind of featured in this time around? Yeah, so we've tried to make sure that we cover all bases. We've got this ask for system where users can literally ask their analysts for pieces of information. So 
as we've talked about the momentum. Oh, I love that so much. Oh, ask for system. So it doesn't berate you with the information and then you have to turn it off. You literally go seek it out. They're making it as organic as possible where you go, hey, dude, um, I want that information, right? Let's see how this ends up working, but I wanted to pause because we now have an opportunity uh, to check this stuff out. So you have key findings, you have your general performance graph, which we've had, we've been staring at those for the last year. Uh, and a nice summary of your general performance. We've got a couple of tabs across the top. Uh, but this is nice, you know, me waltzing over to team, to player, to matches, to opponent. You can break down individual players analytically, which is something I'm going to be very excited to do. You can lock in on who's performing well and who's not. One of the hardest things to do in Football Manager is kind of figure that out in the in-between spaces. Who's making your team better and worse? And it looks like that is going to be here. Opposition goals from shots in the penalty area. So it looks like the, uh, I'm just reading down here. It looks like this key finding section is going... It's taking what we already had in the data area and multiplying it by like two or three times in terms of quality, because there still looks like they're using some of the same recommendations. Like when you go in the data area in FM21, it would be like, it would be giving you these sorts of pieces of information, but now they're being packaged in a much better way. They're being presented to you in a much better way, in a much more organic way. And you can ask for more and more and more and more and more information maps you can request these for matches and you literally type it in and it's like oh yeah boss here's this information oh that is so good that is so good but we've also added a few different things so you can dig into like specific information about maybe like a metric you really care about and then it just points out all of your players on a map of like the league of like who's good in the air who's not good in the air that <sighs> this is uh they, they've thought of a lot of things here I mean, this data hub is obviously one of the main features of the new game, but I think they've really outdone themselves. You're going to be able to get an amazing feel for your players in different facets of the game. There's also stuff like uh, zone map information. So it breaks down the pitch and it shows you how frequently. There is so much well-presented information in collaboration with Size Sports, it seems like this year. Uh, and you can have, you have a little tick at the bottom where you can display this in team analytics and so it'll be one of the first things that you see when you come into the window that is amazing uh but they're just, it sounds like they're not even hitting on all of the different stuff that you can actually find like this is where your team is able to win possession so you can see if your press is effective or not essentially where's your team winning the ball back it's just ways of turning existing large amounts of data into something that someone can actually learn something from and make changes because that's what we care about we care about users like you say being at a tinker being at a learn from seeing all this information that can be quite overwhelming we want to turn it into something intuitive so they're playing into the tinkerer that is freaking gorgeous i love it the data hub is a worthy headlining feature in my opinion there are a couple of other ones. The next one's about the match engine, but your boy needs to make that another video because we've already spent too long staring at this nonsense. Okay, I just been on YouTube for too long. Somebody tie him down and extract the YouTube from him. He said, your boy, save me, YouTube Jesus. Somebody save me, I'm scared. I don't know why he said that. He said, your boy, please, please.